It's a pity about your stomach. You'd have enjoyed our gumbo. was Edward Kelly. It was me who paid Fowler the 25 G's. Did Favorite know you? No. He acted like a sleepwalker. He just stared out the window and watched the lights go by. Where were you taking him? Times Square. It was New Year's Eve, 1943. Just dropped him off in the crowd, and he walked out of our lives forever. Or so we thought. You're telling me that you paid 25 grand for a guy and you lost him in a crowd? I did it for my daughter. It was some sort of hocus pocus she and Johnny were fooling around with. My daughter was obsessed. I know, I found a mummified hand in a room. The hand of glory. It's supposed to be able to open any lock. It was the right hand of a convicted murderer cut off while his neck was still in the noose. Or so Margaret believed. Black magic. Ah, white, what difference does it make? Margaret was always evil. Evil is a dunghill, Mr. Angel. Everyone gets on his own and speaks out about someone else's. Margaret wasn't evil. She was a strange kid, though. She, she was into tarot cards before she could read. Who got her started? Some maid, a governess, who knows? Some maid, some governess? Everything you tell me is a crock of shit. You're the one that got her started. You're the fucking devil worshiper! The Prince of Darkness. Protects the powerful. That's a crook of shit. It's true. I can't help it if you don't believe. You come straight with me, you slime bagger. I swear I'll save this state in execution. I introduced Johnny Favor to my daughter. He was very powerful. I once watched him conjure up Lucifuge in my living room. He was in it much deeper than me. He made a pact with Satan. He sold his soul. You expect me to sell on that? Follow his spit huh? out. I don't give a damn. That's a crook of shit, you lying fool. He sold his soul for stardom. For stardom, are you? That's a crackin' shit. Lord Satan shit. rose from the dead. That's a it crackin'. was magnificent. Except he thought he could outwit the Prince of Darkness. Johnny sold his soul. Then when he made it big, he tried to duck out of it. That's a crackin' shit, you Johnny lying. came across an obscure rite in an ancient manuscript. He needed a victim, someone his own age. Why? To steal their soul. So Toots and Johnny picked up a young soldier. Who? Just a boy, just a soldier out celebrating New Year's Eve in Times Square. Who was the soldier? They took him back to Johnny's hotel, and that's where the ceremony took place. What ceremony? The boy was bound naked on a rubber mat. There were complicated incantations and stuff in Latin and Greek. A pentacle was branded on his chest. Margaret handed Johnny a virgin dagger, and he sliced the boy clean open, and he ate his heart. He cut it out so quickly, the heart was still beating when he whooped it down. Johnny's plan was to drop out and resurface as a soldier. But before he could work things out, he was drafted. And then Johnny was injured, was sent home without even knowing who he was. Who is the boy? Only Johnny knew. He sealed the dog tags in a vase and gave it to Margaret. It was Margaret's plan to drop him off in Times Square. That would be the last place that he'd remember before it happened. He needed a victim, someone his own age. 